Father Vijay Kumar from the Diocese of Mysore. Namellara Kori ke Devari ke namagin to munchita vagi gottu anuda ke idu ondu saaksi. Nama dharma kshetra ke namma de dharma kshetra the guru gala danta ondaniya Swami K. William Ravaru. Dharma Dikshara ke niyamak kundru vanta do nijakko Devara hitche Devara chitta agu namellara hare ke nu adarli yaudhi riti adanta samshay villa. Hindu Pope Jagadguru gala mukhantara namma dharma kshetra ke namma dharma dikshara ke ondaniya ke के ये विलेम रवरो नमः धर्मादिक्षरा किदारे ये विचारण है मिल्लरी को ये धर्मक्षेत्र के संतोष करवादन तविषया आगो धर्मा गुरुगली गुसा हा संतोष करवादन तविषया ये वंदु धर्मा दक्षरी के न मिल्लरा आसर ऐरतदे न मिल्लरा सहाय ऐरतदे न मिल्लरो अवरुंधी किदु आ देवर चित्तवन न रेवेरिसुदक्के न When you heard the appointment of the great honor of becoming a bishop, what was your reaction and how did you receive this great challenge? My life is full of surprises right from the beginning. Every office, every responsibility that the church provided me is full of surprises. And even now, when the nunciature called me and asked my consent, again a surprise. Knowing all the difficult situations that may come in future, honestly speaking, though there was a joy within me, a surprise within me, I had a little, a different thought whether I should take up such responsibility, should I take a risk in my life. But then, the one beautiful sentence which made me to accept is obedience to the Holy Father. When I have given my obedience to my bishop on the day of my diaconage or ordination, I said, I have to obey my Holy Father and now I am here as a bishop-elect only because of this obedience and trusting God, relying on His great grace that is going to give to me. You hail from Kodagu and your formation from childhood and priesthood at St. Joseph's Cathedral, Mysore. Explain your life and formation. Well, my mother is from Polybetta Kodugu because my mother's parents were working in the CC company there. And I being the eldest child, perhaps I was taken to my grandparents' house. And there after six years we moved to Mysore. And all my education in Good Shepherd Convent, St. Mary's the Cathedral Campus, then St. Philomena's high school, St. Philomena's College, all in Mysore. And I'm very happy to be called also Cathedral is my parish because my father is from Cathedral Parish. Well, all the sacraments except baptism, baptism I received in Kodugu, all the rest of the sacraments I received at St. Philomena's Church, which I feel is a great honor privilege because that's one of the beautiful parishes ever I had served as a priest. As Holy Father, Pope Francis wanted to become a football player and now is a Pope of the Catholic Church. Likewise, there was an offer for you in the government job, but you answered the call of the priesthood. What was 
the transformation. In fact, uh, I had a great desire to be a priest because I have seen priests in cathedral who were a good example to me. After my SSLC, to tell you a little more, in fact, I went and approached Bishop Matthias Fernandes to join a seminary. He gave a big shout. He said, you go home, take care of your parents, your only son. It discouraged me, but then I came back. Believe me, for one year I did nothing. Just waiting for one more opportunity the next year. Then I appear in front of him the second year. I want to join the seminary. I don't know what happened. He remembered, last year you came and I said you go take care of your parents. But then once again you have come. Perhaps he realized that I have a call within me and he recommended me to the seminary and I joined the seminary. Of course, I had opportunities to enter into other fields, but then I thought somehow within me saying, let me become a priest for the service of the Lord, and try, uh, trusting him and handing myself all through my formation. I had a very interesting, enriching experiences. I always remember my spiritual father the spiritual father who was in St. Peter's and he was my strength. He was a strength to me to the extent that in every difficulty, in every confusion, he used to motivate me. When I finished my philosophy, once again I had something blocking me to go ahead. In fact, I had, I had an attack of pneumonia. But I was wrongly diagnosed in Bangalore and I was taking the medicine so much so I became very sick. Very sick to the extent they asked me, you go take rest and need be we will call you back, you can continue later. Which means to say that I have to discontinue. At that point of time I gratefully acknowledge Presently, Bishop Anand Rair, Archbishop of Pondicherry, he was a vice rector. He was the one who said, you take rest, man. Pray to Mother Mary and she will take care of you. And he was the one who provided little more extra care to me. And rightly, I came for a rest for a month. And here in Mysore, I was diagnosed properly, given proper medicine, and I went back and stood in front of my rector who said, what a miracle in your life. Perhaps all these experiences only tell me somehow God, God wanted me to be a priest. He has some plans in and through me. That's what my faith says. When your records and rewards are scrutinized, it says you are an able and dynamic administrator, daring to anything for Christ and Catholic Church. Please explain. I had only one thing in my mind wherever I was. Take up the gospel values and try to put across. No doubt there were challenges, there were difficult situations which I have to go through. But at last I used to ask a question within myself. Why all this? It is only to say the gospel value should be proclaimed and should be practiced. And all through my life, as I said in the beginning, I had surprises after surprises. Every office which was given to me only helped me to grow further, it helped me to grow little more than what I was. These offices always brought me close to God where my prayers and all those little difficulties that I faced strengthened me more and more. I became more strong in every difficult situations. Of course, 
I acknowledge the support and encouragement of my superiors, without whom I would have not ventured or had my success. It is not mine alone. My bishop, maybe Bishop Roy, those days, Bishop Walapili, recently, he was my strength. Whenever I was sharing my few difficulties or decisions, they were always encouraging. They were always with me. Also, credit goes to those who coordinated with me. Maybe the assistant priests, maybe the religious sisters, maybe the lay people, maybe parish council, whoever it is. They also have played a vital role, always giving their positive concurrence, saying, yes, go ahead. And I think with this help, grace of God, the blessings of superiors, the coordination of my colleagues or my companions, all this has helped me to be what I am today. <laughs> was not a surprise. In fact, it was a long-awaited good news and we were expecting one of our diocesan priests will be our bishop. And I have seen him from uh, my seminary time. He was uh, my music teacher and I was blessed to work with him for two years. And uh, in fact, uh, from last two years I have seen there's a lot of developmental works in the campus, MDS campus, whichever he is having, six campuses he has. All the six campuses, there is a lot of development. One of the best administrators in our diocese. We are sure the diocese will progress under his guidance, able guidance and beautiful leadership. I wish him all the best and may God bless him. Thank you. Mysore Diocese is already grown far and wide. All the bishops in the past, all the priests, especially the senior ones, they have contributed their best. If at all we are known for good educational system, if at all Mysore is known for the social works under ODP or the various commissions that we have in the diocese, it is because of uh, the planning and the implementation by my predecessors and the priests of the diocese who have worked very hard. And my interest is just carry on what is already initiated. I just take further forward. And of course, once again, in coordination with my priests, religious and laity, because we have wonderful priests who are experienced, wonderful people who are better talented, and they will surely guide to take the diocese to further heights, which is already in a very progressive way. And uh, my top priority will be spirituality and faith formation. I think when this is given to our people, the rest will come, come automatically in their lives. And our families especially need the presence of God. Our families have everything today. They have plenty for themselves. But when there is no God amidst them, I think everything becomes futile. So spirituality and faith formation, which will help them to sustain in that spirit of God. This is my top priority. And I'm sure as a team, we'll be able to achieve this. <laughs> ஆண்டவரிடம் மன்றாடிய இந்த மைசூர் மறை மாவட்டத்திற்கு ஆண்டவர் மிக பரிசாக புதிய ஆயரை நமக்கு கொடுத்திருக்கின்றார் அது நாங்கள் நினைக்காத வண்ணம் ஒரு இன்ப அதிர்ச்சியாக மகிழ்ச்சியாக ஆண்டவர் இந்த புதிய ஆயரை தேர்ந்தெடுத்திருக்கின்றார்
ஆம் இது ஆண்டவர் நம்மோடு இருக்கிறார் என்பதற்கு சான்று பகர இது நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றது முதன்மையாக ஆண்டவருக்கு நன்றி செலுத்தி கொண்டு இதோ இந்த மைசூர் மர மாவட்டத்தின் ஆடுகளாகிய நாங்கள் ஆயருக்கு நாங்கள் அவரோடு இணைந்து ஒத்துழைத்து இந்த மைசூர் மறை மாவட்டத்தை இறைவனுக்கு சாட்சி பகர நாங்கள் அவரோடு இணைந்து வாழுவோம் இந்த அற்புதமான இந்த எங்கள் எண்ணங்களை எடுத்துரைக்க இந்த மீடியா வழியாக கிடைத்த இந்த சந்தர்ப்பத்திற்காக ஐபிசி வேர்ல்ட் நியூஸ் சார்பாக அவர்களுக்கு நாங்கள் நன்றி செலுத்திக் கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் விசேஷமாக எமது மைசூர் கத்தோலிக்க தமிழ் ட்ரஸ்ட் மூலியமாக அறக்கட்டளையின் மூலமாக நாங்கள் நன்றி செலுத்திக் கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் இறைவனுக்கு நன்றி Would you take as a challenge to empower Catholic women in your diocese to emerge as leaders in social, political and cultural spheres? Already Mysore Diocese is known for uh, women empowerment. Of course, it is through the Organization for the Development of People, but it is more generic. All people, not just uh, Christians or Catholics. all where especially in the rural places women are empowered by self help groups and the families have been transformed the society is transformed the leadership in the women politically socially is fantastic but then when it comes to catholic women of course we have what we call catholic women's league it has to be strengthened and more and more our catholic uh, women especially the educated ones the ones who are the cream of the society should get involved but somehow sorry to say in mysore what i have noticed is associations like catholic women or vincent de paul society some of the lay participation is uh, not much there are people who are interested who take up the whole responsibility and uh, uh, do their job but it will be further more uh, powerful and uh, effective when uh, there are others who get involved especially the educated ones so that they can share what they have their knowledge and uh, all that the good spirit they have with others and empower the women hi this is leo leo deepak from holy family parish he was one of our i mean he was the first parish priest of holy family and it is we are very happy to hear the news that he is becoming a bishop we are very very happy about it thank you namma dharma kendra da dharma dakshara agirtakkanta k william ravaru namma mechina gurugalagidru ಅವರೀಗ ಈ ಡಯಾಸಿಸಿಗೆ ಧರ್ಮಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿ ಆಯ್ಕೆಯಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷದ ವಿಷಯ ಅವರಿಗೆ ದೇವರು ಆಯುರ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಲು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲು ನಾವು ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ಯೋ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಹೌ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಚರ್ಚ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಈಸ್ in fact already supporting the christians in general they have a beautiful projects for the minorities and that's how when i was a parish priest of st philomena's church i could tap lots lots for the 
church renovation and uh, now even now the work is in progress the state government do provide and uh, they support us all that we need is to go to the right person with the right project and do the right job i'm joyce lobo i have been associated with the mdes that is the miso dyson educational society for the past 32 years and i've known father william ever since he's been the parish priest of holy family church inkal since we had our st joseph central school next to the holy family church and i have watched father william from his very young days working hard towards the development of any place where he is placed he was at the mds as the secretary for the past 2 years and ever since he took over we all of us have felt what a huge change he has brought for good in all the institutions under the mds i really and heartily welcome and i'm overwhelmed by the news that we are going to have such a young person as a bishop that is reverend father william and he will have many more years to work for the upliftment of the diocese he is like a shepherd who tends his flock and i'm sure he'll be like the good shepherd who will tend his flock and bring bring them all under his love and care your grace what is your important message to the youth and the people of mysore diocese yes my only message is to coordinate cooperate with us the administration of the diocese especially through their prayers and participation i have a very strong feeling by another few years to go we need to have people's church a church where people will take up to lead further no doubt we the bishop the priests religious will be with the people to moderate to animate to be leaders but then it is my strong wish and dream we need to have people's church where they will involve they will plan and with the support of us they will lead the church further and this is a message where i request the people to participate in this sort of church for the future of course we can attain all these only through our prayers and only through the devotion that we have to god and the sacraments i on behalf of ibc world news i thank you and wish you all the best thank you thank you god bless you and uh, again an appeal to support me through your valuable prayers oh.